Hey guys, it's Kylie. Welcome if you're new with us. Welcome back if you've been here before. If you're new with us and you find that you keep coming back, might as well subscribe because you're already coming back anyways. <sighs> this week, I am just going to go through my shower routine. One of my subscribers in the comments recommended this video, so thank you for that. And if you want to put video ideas in the comments, that always helps. Because I like to make you guys happy and I like to know what you guys like to see. If you guys have been here for a while, you know that I have this little cart down here. So a lot of my stuff is on that for like my after shower. When I first get in the shower, I put Olplex number three in my hair. I just did a hair care routine, so I will have that video linked in the description if you want to like see it. I use Olplex number three on my mids to ends as a pre-shampoo treatment just to protect my hair. Then I just like wash off my body. This is the soap I've been using for like the last year probably this is from tj maxx i got this on sale after christmas um these are their exfoliating soap bar they're called the artisans of soap it comes in shea butter coffee grounds and hemp seeds i always use the coffee grounds first it's coffee and it's coconut and vanilla it's my favorite by the way the native coconut and vanilla is also my favorite beautiful but I love these and I have is almost empty so almost time to switch while I have the old plex in I usually shave so today I shaved I use the tree hut moisturizing shaving oil I use this in watermelon it's my favorite and I use the truly razor this is honestly the best razor I've ever had I've tried the men's razor thing, hated it, tried tons of different women's razors. The Truly one is honestly the best one I've used, personally. And the replacement things are only like 10 bucks, which I've noticed that in a lot of like razors, you pay like 10, 15 dollars for the whole kit, and then like 20 bucks for new razors. That doesn't make any sense to me. And then after that, I used the strawberry. One, I really want them to make a shave oil in the strawberry because it's mine and my favorite scent. I, as much as I like like coconut and vanilla, I'm not really a vanilla girly. Strawberry is my favorite scent. I love to smell like strawberry. Just obnoxiously sweet. After that, I finish washing my hair. So for my shampoo number one, I use the Maui Moisture. This is a lightweight hydration hibiscus water shampoo. Love this one. And then I double shampoo with the Joyco. This is the Damage Defense Protective Shampoo. Love this. So good. After I'm done shampooing, once a week I throw in a hair mask. Lately, I've been using the Briogeo Don't Repair. Don't Despair Repair. Love this. When I'm not using that hair mask, I really like the TGIN Rose Water. This one's beautiful and it's pink. I also like the TGIN Miracle Repair Deep Hydration. I really like their stuff. They're nice and affordable. Also, the Hask ones are pretty fine too. If you like the single packs, I just prefer a tub. I think they last a lot longer and are a better value, especially if you use them. I use them once a week. So if you're using them that often, perfect. When I'm not feeling a mask, if I feel like my hair is really hydrated, I like to use a gloss. So I have this liquid gloss from Dry Bar. And I also have one from DHP that I've never used before. So maybe soon we'll use that. Also, when I'm shaving, if I'm shaving, shaving, I love this for the bikini area. It's the Bikini Zone Anti-Bump Shave Gel. This is so good. But I also just recommend a trimmer, low key. I have the one from Clio. These are sold at Walmart and honestly the best purchase I ever made. Speaking of the bikini area, I like the Honey Pot Cucumber Aloe Wash. I only use this 
when I'm on my period, but whenever I feel like I need it, it's always just good to have. So I really like that. Once the hair mask is rinsed out, I do go in with the, the Defy Damage Conditioner from Joico. Conditioner is just a bond sealer, so it's gonna close all of the bonds in your hair. Again, only a mids to ends thing. And then I do go in on the inside of my legs with this Urban Skin RX Even Tone Cleansing Bar. It's like a soap, but it's helping the even toneness. So I use it on the inside of my thighs. Back before I knew that like thigh rescue from Mega Babe was a thing, something for like anti-chafing in the thighs, I would use like a deodorant stick and it would clog the pores so it would create all this dark spots. So using this has really like fixed that and it's awesome, I love it. If you don't have it, I truly recommend. This is like my fourth one. For my body wash, I use this. Pretty sure this is like a Korean like she smells like strawberry. I got this from TJ Maxx. I have the lotion as well. Let's talk about tools. Because I feel like that's equally as important. When I'm doing like shampoo, conditioner, or scalp scrub. This is the one from Way. Super awesome. I like a scalp exfoliator. This is the one from Pacifica. Super easy to use. Love this one. And so cute. And it looks so good in my bathroom. When I am exfoliating, so like using the Tree Hut exfoliator or just basic exfoliating, I really like exfoliating gloves. This is just cheap from TJ Maxx. To brush out my hair with conditioner in it, I do use the pattern brush. This is the mini, and this guy's like 18 bucks. Amazing, perfect, love this. I am a loofah girly, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but I only buy them from Bath and Body Works because they're a little bit thicker and I just think they're better quality. I love them. I do use a silicone back brush though. Wish I owned this in pink. That is pretty much everything from inside the shower. When I get out of the shower, the first thing I like to use is these Truly products. So this is the Acai Your Boobies. It is just a tighten and firm serum. And the Buns of Glory, this is a tightening glow serum. So, always having these on stock. Then I do go everywhere else with my moisturizer. This is the same as my body wash, just in a lotion. And if I'm not feeling this one, I do really like the Let's Bounce Firming Body Serum from Be Fresh, which I'm about 100% sure is just be tan. On my back, so after I lotion, I like to use this Bacne Warrior. It's just an acne fighting body serum a spray. Super easy, it's like, like a sunscreen. Nice and easy. I do suffer from a lot of acne, especially in the summer. A lot of that oil buildup, so nice and easy to just spray away and not even think about it. That is my absolute favorite. But yeah, that is pretty much it. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, or again, let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. Just leave it in the comments below. I love you all so much. I hope you learned more about me today. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Love you.